breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Trouble in Imo. APC as ex-minister's daughter raises alarm over expulsion threat. Trouble in Imo. APC as ex-minister's daughter raises alarm over expulsion threat. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. First Republic ex-minister of trade, Rafael Okafor's daughter, Ungozi Okafor, and an aspirant to the Oguta, Ohaji Edbema, Oru West, House of Representatives seat, under the All Progressives Congress, APC on Thursday raised an alarm over a plot to expel her from the APC. The plot was made known to newsmen in Owedi by a chieftain of the APC from Ungozi's Oru Ward in Oguta local government area, Mr. Lagunwa Emeka. Agunwa said the plot to expel her was because she went to the court to seek redress over what they described as a failure of the party to conduct a transparent House of Representatives primaries. According to him, Ms. Ngozi Arbeke or Kafo is a registered number of APC. She registered in her hometown, Unkwesi, or reward, or Guta local government of Imo State. And since then, she has been the financial of the party in the world. Also, she was as brought back to life in a piece led by distinguished senator. Hope Uzodima in our federal constituency. The above can be verified by the party like schools of the local government area. As APC announced its sale of nomination forms, Ms. Okafor purchased a form to contest for an APC ticket. It is also on record that she was the last person to be screened for the position in our federal constituency within the stipulated time. She was issued a provisional certificate of clearance after a successful screening. However, a hunger was that as Ms. Ngozi Arbeke or Kafor Field to obtain justice through the internal mechanism of APC, she approached the law court. The matter is pending in the court, and Ms. Arbike Okafor firmly believes she will get justice, noting that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. In a bid, to stop Ms. Ungozi Arbeke Okafo from seeking proper redress. Those concerned with short changing at the primaries are desperately trying to expel Ms. Arbeke Okafo from APC. They are trying to expel her through the Oru Ward executive of APC. As a founding member of APC and a concerned citizen of this constituency, I humbly appeal to the leadership of APC in our reward not to succumb to pressure. The leadership of APC in Oguta local government area should not allow this to happen. This is undemocratic 
and should be condemned. To our greatest dismay, Ms. Ngozi Arubeke Okafo and our supporters were speechless when Mr. Hugin Dibiagu was announced through the Imo State government's owned radio station as the winner of the primary election that never took place, that never took place. As a zip civilized party faithful, Ms. RBK Okafo followed internal democracy to resolve issues emanating from the failed primaries. Ms. Ngozi Arubiki Okafo should not be expelled from the party. Seeking red resin court in our constitutional right, we are in a democracy, not an autocracy. It is important to note that any further attempt to undo Ms. Ngozi Arubiki Okafo as a member of APC in Imo State is the final destruction of APC in OHG, Edbima or Gota or Ru Federal constituency, because injury to one is an injury to all. First Republic ex Minister of Trade, Rafael Okafor's daughter, Ungozi Okafor, and an aspirant to the Oguta. Ohaji at Bema Oro West House of Representative seat. Under the All Progressives Congress, APC on Thursday raised an alarm over a plot to expel her from the APC. The plot was made known to newsmen in Oweri by a chieftain of the APC from Ungozi's Oro Ward in Oguta local government area, Mr. Agunwa Emeka. Agunwa said the plot to expel her was because she went to the court to seek redress over what they described as a failure of the party to conduct a transparent House of Representatives primaries. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.